Ah, and the sound will cover the seeds. And flowers would leave the land so fast. So what to do? If you come to Turkey, the flower come back so fast. It <laughs> was yesterday in the palace. Yeah, flower will come so fast. In our traditions, winter is the time you die, and the spring is the resurrection time. And this is a good example for people who are believers. And they believe in resurrection. And they believe in God. So here we go a little bit Persian, and we recite from Rumi. And Rumi says, Mouse Baolao Imo, Baolao Mirali, Mouse Dariao Imo, Dariao Mirali. We are from the heaven, we go to the heaven, and we are from the ocean, we go back to the ocean. And sometimes also we say, remember the flight, the bird will die. And let's go to India, for that which is born. Death is certain. And for that which is dead, birth is certain. You should not grieve over the unavoidable. And this is from our people. To help these people, you should have the concept of law, law uh, a concept. And you should also be able to talk with their language. And also, you should show the reality to them. But in, the, in this manner, you should convince them to not grieve. And sometimes also, we should stay silent and listen to them. A Buddhist monk once said, silence is the language of God. Thank you. I think uh, yes. one correction on, on the Hinduism, so multiple cycles of reincarnation. So if you do a very bad sin, 
you may have to go through every one of 80, over 80,000 life forms before you come back as a human being. So actually it's, it's hundreds of thousands of life cycles for most because most people are sinful. Uh, and it's also an interest, that it was sort of a statement on biodiversity that we have over 80,000 life forms and you go through every one of them until you come back as a human being. So it's a it's you know all big sins you know but some of us are quite big sinners like myself. Sorry. <laughs> okay. But what about you're a very bad person? <laughs> <laughs> or a bad monkey? <laughs> My name is Ivan Pinkic. I'm from Istanbul University, Istanbul Medical Faculty. I am an ethicist. Uh, and at first, thank you very much for your very interesting presentation. So, uh, my question is, um, do we have some cultural roots uh, as a cultural resource in disaster situation? So as you know, it's a very special communication form in disaster situation. And uh, we heard, for example, in the news that uh, from India uh, comes to uh, Africa and then they help them and each other and so on. So my question is, can we establish on the, I would say, maybe meta-ethical or meta-cultural level uh, uh, same language uh, to communicate in spatial boundary situation? When, when we talk about religions, we are talking about different cultures. And religion, we can also consider it as element of culture. But when we go above, above religion, there is a field there. And that field is the field of spirituality. In that field, human being is, uh, is the branch of one tree. And from diversity, we reach to unity. So if we want to, to, to speak with one language, with everybody, we should go to humanity and the human soul, which, uh, which, will, be, which will be the drops of an ocean. And the drop is the ocean itself. And the ocean is the drops. Very a question. Yes, I thank you so much for your perspective. It definitely brings a different angle, um, particularly because when it comes to death, which, as you well said, it is something that we need to be prepared when we are facilitating or supporting people in disasters. Uh, I also want to comment on the professor's question um, regarding cultural. Uh, universal language and yes we do have uh, cultural approaches and universal language in disaster relief for mental health purposes and usually it takes away every other perspective but it is a neutral perspective based basically on humanitarian approaches so even when we try not to uh, disregard the personal cultures or belief systems, we treat every human being the same way. Basically, we get trained into doing what we call, for lack of another word, a script. The script approaches every individual with the same uh, empathy, with the same compassion, with the same belief system that every human suffers, despite and regardless of their belief system, despite of the instructions from the heavens or their culture or religion, they still suffer. They want to have that belief system on the side of reincarnation, of another life, of the heavens, but they still suffer. So when we approach a human from that perspective, everyone gets the same um, support, dignity, empathy, and compassion. And listen. Yes. Thank, Thank you. you. When we talk about suffering, we call the term compassion. 
And this is also, it's a very, it's a keyword in Buddhist context. And uh, thank you for your uh, explanation. Yes. Uh, thank you very much for your address and your speech and presentation. And I have a comment. In today's, in today's uh, society, uh, the perception of that is very changed. In past, uh, in our cultures, as you see in this garden, come are in the middle of life, but today it has, uh, 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 it has changed and cemeteries are outside the uh, cities and out of sight of the, of the people. Okay, thank you. Thank you. And, uh, yes, sir. Out of life. Sometimes we want to forget, yeah. and we just want to believe that we will never die. But after 50 years, 100 years, nobody will think and we can imagine that we are sitting here and we are talking about the concept of death. But also, we should be clear about something. When we are talking about uh, how to help people, we just want to keep them from suffering. We want to just keep them, keep them strong. We don't want to impose our belief on them. Because let me quote from Omar Khayyam, the Persian philosopher 1,000 years ago. He says, Asrawa azadra na chodawni yu naman vin halli mu'amma na chodawni yu naman The secret of this universe, neither I know, not you. And the answer to this puzzle, neither I know, not you. So we don't know, but we can believe in something. And with our belief, with our compassion, with our kindness, and sometimes with our silence, and just to be next to somebody. And sometimes with not talking, we can help them in the time of disaster. And to have compassion toward each other, because all of us, we suffer, we go through suffering, and this is the reason that we want to have peace, so to reduce more suffering in this life. And as you, uh, as you heard from Samson, this is the urgency of having peace in the soul. Thank you very much.